Dear Diary, it's been a while. I was diagnosed with HIV in 2000. A few years ago, I met a guy who used to come to my house to buy cigarettes and ice. As he regularly visited my house to satisfy his habit of smoking, we become friends and he invited me out for takeaway and dinner at the local restaurant. My son Kenny is very protective of me. He is only nine years old, but he make it his responsibility that I take my HIV treatment. So this friend of mine partly used Kenny to get closer to me. As Kenny is very outspoken, he told my friend directly that he should not misuse me. Throughout the time they spent together, Kenny and my friend become closer and he used to bring him some gifts. They often played soccer together. Since my friend was so good to him, at one point Kenny even asked him to become his father. Since he don't have one, some time passed and my friend became interested in me as a lover. Since I was betrayed by my late husband, I did not want to betray another human being. So I decided to tell my friend that I am HIV positive. At first he assisted to believe because he says that women did not always tell the truth. I had to show him my HIV passport, ARV treatment pills to convince him. Now I'm thankful that he has accepted me the way I am, also supported me and my son financially. I wish my friends living with HIV could be open to their status, to their partners. To be loved truly, you must be truthful. It's been two years now and our love is stronger than ever. Love lives where hope is alive.